Hi, what's going on guys? I'm Mr. Beck here. Now we are going for the fifth question in this chapter forces, right? Let us read the question together. In the figure above, mass 1, uh, 3 kilogram, mass 2, 5 kilogram, and mass 3, 6 kilogram. If the coefficient of friction of the table surface is 0 0.4, find the, uh, find the acceleration of the system. Yeah, and the tension of each strings. Okay, so here you have three masses, yeah, three bodies. Uh, all the masses are given, right? Mass one, mass two, and mass three. And we notice that the table is rough, okay, because it it gives the coefficient of friction. Okay, so it's, it has friction. This is the, uh, we can say this is the mu. Right. This is the mu. Okay. Uh, masses given. Now need to find the acceleration and also the tension of the string. Okay. So first we must draw the free boy diagram. I have drawn it out for you. Okay. So since you have three objects, three objects means you must have three free boy diagram. Draw all the forces acting on these three uh, objects. Draw all the forces. So, three bodies, three free body diagram. So, for mass 1, the forces acting on mass 1 is the weight itself, M1G, going downward. The normal force upward, because perpendicular to the surface. Uh, take note that the normal force you need to uh, label as N1, not just N. Because we have mass 2. Mass 2 also have normal force. So you must put N1, N2 to differentiate. Alright? Same thing for the Mg. Don't just put Mg. You must put M1G, M2G, M3G. You must differentiate them. Okay? Now, um, yeah. And then you can see uh, this string, it has uh, a pair of uh, tensions. Now, these two tensions are action-reaction force. Okay, uh, for this string, you have tension 1. And this string connect between mass 2 and mass 3. This string is tension 2. Uh, also a pair. Right? Okay, now, let's, let us look at the mass 1. So, mass 1, we have the weight, we have the normal force. Uh, mass 1 is being pulled by mass 2 to the right. Okay? Uh, because actually the whole system is being pulled by mass 3 downward. Uh, so mass 1, mass 2 all just follow the mass 3. Okay, so mass 1 accelerate to the right. So it's being pulled to the right. Yeah, tension 1. And because the motion is to the right, so the friction is opposite to the left. This is friction 1. Okay. Now the mass 2, uh, it also has the weight M2G and normal force upward. Uh, it's being pulled by mass 3, so the tension 2 is to the right. Okay. And also, mass 2 is being pulled by mass 1 also. Yeah. Mass 2 feels that mass 1 is holding back. Uh, is yeah, holding back. Feels that um, the tension to the left, tension 1. And then you have friction to the left also because opposite to the motion. Friction to the left because motion to the right. Mass 3. Mass 3 has no friction, no normal force because it's not in contact with the table. Okay, So it just has the weight itself, M3G. And also, it feels the tension upward because mass 1 and mass 2 still holding the mass 3. Still holding the mass 3. Still pulling on mass 3. So it has tension to upward. Okay. So these are the forces you must label first. Uh, you must label first before you do the question. Okay. And also it gives the coefficient 0 0.4. Yeah, just the coefficient. So you want to find the friction. Uh, you need to use the formula mu n. Yeah. Fri kinetic friction is mu kn. So you have friction one and friction two. So to find them, you must Find the normal force first. Huh? First, you must find the 
normal force. Okay, how, uh, let's find the friction first for both uh, objects. Different objects have different friction because they have different normal force. Okay, so normal force one is the mass one y component. I have list down. I have list down here. Uh, mass one separate into two components because it has two components. It has x component and y component. So now we want to find the normal force, so we focus on the y component. Okay, the y component, uh, it has zero resultant force. Uh, uh, remember that uh, when no resultant force, we just assume that going up positive, going down negative, going right positive, going left negative. So we can just put um, uh, going up. Positive going down, negative, no acceleration. Yeah. So um, in the y component we have uh, normal force and mg. So normal force is positive, mg is negative. Okay. So just solve it. So we have the normal force positive and mg is negative. Go to zero. So what do we get? So N1G is equal to um, mass 1 is 3. So 3, uh, G is 9.81. So what do we get? Yeah, what do we get? Uh, we, maybe we just hold on first. Oh, sorry. Maybe we just hold on as the... Um, sorry, yeah. Um, just hold on as um, uh, three, uh, 3G. Okay. Uh, okay, then we can substitute into the to find the friction. Yeah, uh, mu k is zero point four, so n one is three g. So just mul multiply three g, and we will get the answer eleven point seven seven two. Uh, that's the friction on mass one. Right. So do the same thing for friction two. You need to do, find the normal force. Find the normal force, we refer to the y component of object 2. So, object 2, we have the y component. Also, because no acceleration, we just uh, assume going up positive, going down negative. So, uh, going up positive, going down negative. Yeah. So, now let's find the normal force first. So, for mass 2, it's 5 kilogram. So, y component, let's do it. So going up just now is the normal force going down M2G. Okay, so normal force positive and then M2G is negative. What's going down? So the normal force 2 is actually uh, 5G. Ah, we got the normal force. So now just substitute into here. Mu K is 0 0.4. Uh, it is a uh, 5G. Okay, then we calculate 0 0.4 times 5G, we will get 19.62 Newton. That's the friction, right? That's the friction on the table for mass 2. Okay, we got the friction already. Now it becomes simpler for us. Now we want to find A, we want to find acceleration of the whole system acceleration so we refer to the whole system to find acceleration we've used the formula newton's second law total f equal to ma so for the whole system uh for the whole system uh which uh the only the x component has the acceleration so we can just ignore the y component the y component is just to find friction actually Okay, we just take the x component. Uh, this one take mass three, take y component. So what forces acting on the uh, the direction parallel to the acceleration? We have the friction, friction one, friction two, m three g, and also the tension. However, the tension can be neglected because they are they are opposite direction. Like tension one, you have a pair. Opposite direction, they cancel each other. 
tension 2 also cancel each other. So it just left with friction 1, friction 2 and M3G. Okay, and then remember that, uh, remember the rule. If the object is not equilibrium, has acceleration or has resultant force, then the positive sign is when follow acceleration. When opposite acceleration, just put negative. Okay? Unlike the equilibrium one. Yeah? So if you're not equilibrium, you have acceleration, then you must follow the acceleration or opposite acceleration. Okay? Uh, so just now I said you have the friction one, friction two, and M3G. So how uh what sign we should you put? So going down, uh, we can put going down uh, here, follow acceleration positive. Uh, and then backward is, uh, so follow acceleration positive, uh, opposite acceleration negative, follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative, follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. Okay, so... Um, so just now we have M3G. M3G is positive because follow acceleration. Okay, so you can uh, put there M3G is positive. And then tension 2 can be ignored because they cancel each other, opposite direction. And then tension 1 also cancel. We have, but we have uh, friction 2 and friction 1. Friction 1 and friction 2 both are negative. And negative because they opposite acceleration. So, negative friction 1 and 3. Negative friction 1, negative friction 2. And the whole mass, the total mass of the whole object is mass 1, mass 2, mass 3. So, add up all together. Mass 1 plus mass 2 plus mass 3. Okay, uh, acceleration. Now, just sub all the information. The mass 3 is uh, 6 kilogram. So, we have 6G minus the friction 1 we got just now is 11.772 minus uh, friction 2 is 19.62. And then mass 1, mass 2, mass 3 all given there. 356. Alright, 356. So, 3 plus 5 plus 6. A. Okay. Uh, that's it. So find the acceleration. The acceleration is um, 1.962 meter per second square. That's the acceleration of the system. Okay. Very simple. Now we're done with the acceleration. We can find the tension in each string, which means that we would need to find the tension 1 and tension 2. This one we do separately. We we do separately. We'll first we to find tension one, we can do the mass one. So mass one it has x and y component. Y component is just to find the normal force. So we look at the x component. The x component has acceleration. X component is f equal to ma, but y component is zero. F zero. Okay. So x component here has acceleration. So, same thing, uh, look at the sign, follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative, so we can say T1 is positive, friction is negative, because opposite, that opposite the acceleration. Okay, so uh, tension 1 and friction, just put it, yeah, they are the X component, tension 1, and then what else, we have the friction, uh, we have the friction negative, friction 1. And then mass 1 is 3. Okay. Uh, so uh, tension 1 minus. So we have the friction just now. We got it. 11.772. Just put inside. 11.772. Acceleration just now we get is uh, 1.962. 1.962. Okay. So we got our first tension which is uh our first tension is is uh seventeen point six six newton that's our tension one yeah very simple now uh 
we want to find tension 2. Tension 2, we look at mass 2. Mass 2, uh, for the X component, we look at the X component. Uh, follow acceleration is T2, O positive. Opposite acceleration is tension 1 and friction 2. These two are negative because opposite acceleration. Okay? So, uh, just put inside here. So, tension 2 just now is positive, right? Tension 2 is positive. Tension 1 and friction negative. So, negative tension 1, negative friction 1. Eh, sorry. Friction 2, not friction 1. Uh, so, be careful, huh? So, this is friction 2. Okay? And then, mass 2 is 5 kilograms. Uh, okay? So, just now we got the tension 1. And also, the friction 2 we already have. Friction 2. Tension 1. Uh, just put inside. So, tension 2 minus the tension 1, which is 17.66. And then, friction is 19.62. 19.62 okay then uh, equals to acceleration just now we got acceleration 1.962 okay 1.962 so we got our tension 2 s our tension 2 s uh, 47.09 newton that's our tension 2 so, we got the answer already for tension 1 and tension 2. Okay, I just want to write the final equations for mass uh, 3, which is 6 kg. Okay, so mass, mass mg is positive because follow acceleration. Tension 2 is negative because opposite acceleration. So, just write it down there. Mass 3g is positive. However, the tension is negative because opposite acceleration. Negative tension 2 equal to M3A. So, we have 6G here. Uh, tension 2. Mass 3 is 6A. A is, um, is 1.962. 1.962. So, from here, we also can get a T2. Uh, we calculated T2 is uh, 47 point. 09, yeah? 47.09 Newton. Okay, so same answer. So we got the acceleration and tension already. So um, uh, remember, you can do as a whole system. Yeah, that means the total up all the masses. Yeah, total F equal to MA. Total up all the masses. And this one, don't put the tension because uh, we have pair of tension which opposite, they cancel each other. So no tension here, just the weight and the friction. And whenever you have uh, different objects, like this case, you have three objects. Okay, uh, so you must uh, separate them into columns, like mass one, mass two, mass three, and then separate into another two again. We have x component, y component, x component, y component, and also lastly only the y component. Uh, so. Uh, for x component, this one he has uh, f equal to ma, but for y component, f equal to zero. So uh, these are the things you must know how to do. Okay. So uh, I hope you enjoy the lesson. I hope you understand also. Uh, please do your past year questions. So hope to see you again for the next upcoming videos. Thank you and subscribe. Bye.